Please, welcome back for the second year, St. Louis's own Krupinski Academy of Dance. 2024 marks their 49th year in business teaching dancers around the St. Louis area. Tonight's performance is directed by Ashley Krupinski Canali and choreographed by Andrea Saracen Millsap. Touching you more, more every time When you leave, I'm begging you not to go Call your name two, three times in a row Such a funny thing for me to try to explain How I'm feeling on my pride is I wanna blame Cause I still don't understand Just how your love can do it, no one else can Got me looking so crazy right now Your love's got me looking so crazy right now Got me looking so crazy right now Your touch got me looking so crazy right now Got me hoping you bench me right now Your kiss got me hoping you save me right now Looking so crazy loud Got me looking, got me looking so crazy loud Don't even need to buy a new dress When there ain't nobody else to impress It's a way that you know what I thought I knew It's a beat that my heart skips when I'm with you But I still don't understand Just how your love can do what no one else can Got me looking so crazy right now Your love's got me looking so crazy right now Got me looking so crazy right now Your touch got me looking so crazy right now Got me hoping you bench me right now Your kiss got me hoping you save me right now Looking so crazy Please help me welcome our MC for this evening, Lisa Nichols, CEO and co-founder of the St. Louis-based Technology Partners. We are honored to have the ongoing support and gratitude of Lisa, Greg, and Technology Partners. Please join me in welcoming Lisa. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Dancing with the St. Louis Stars Benefit for Independent Center. Let's give the Kropinski Academy of Dance a big round of applause for kicking us off tonight. You know, dancing is one of those activities that can really bring joy to your heart, and don't we all need a little joy right now? Yeah, we do. Well, I'm thrilled to be back as your MC. Welcome to this sellout in-person crowd, as well as many guests streaming this evening. Mental health remains a significant issue in our community and country at large. We can really be grateful for what the Independence Center does to assist those in need of support. Please welcome President of the Board of Directors, Matt Doyle.
Thank you, Lisa. On behalf of the Independent Center Board of Directors, thank you for being with us tonight for an evening of inspiring stories and captivating dance performances. As president, I am proud of the profound impact that our organization has on those dealing with serious and persistent mental illness in our community. And we've been doing so for over 40 years. I hope you'll be moved to continue supporting the Independent Center for many years to come. You can access more details of our 2023 impact report via our website, independentcenter.org. We are so happy to have Lisa Nichols returning this year as our MC. Let's give her a round of applause. And let's hear it for our presenting sponsor, Emerson Electric, for their substantial donation of $50,000. Let's hear it for our cocktail hour sponsor, Hush Blackwell. Thank you for your generous donation of $20,000. At the cha-cha level, in a $15,000 donation, let's give a round of applause for McKelvey Homes, Technology Partners, and Vogel Law Office. And at the Tango Topper level, with a $7,500 donation, please welcome and thank Bethesda Health Group, Doherty Business Solutions, Empower Me Wellness, Friendship Village Senior Services, Peric, PwC, Reuben Brown, the St. Louis Cardinals, Thompson Street Capital Partners, and Worldwide Technologies. Supporting our streaming program tonight, we thank our virtual sponsors who donated $5,000. Thank you for your incredible support, BJC Healthcare, Edward Jones, and St. Louis Pharmacy. And lastly, we want to thank all of those who have donated, provided discounts, and volunteered to make tonight happen. These are the people in the trenches with us, pulling out all the stops to make this evening magical. So let's give it up for them. I would also like to recognize our past and current board members here in the audience. If you would please stand. We are so grateful for your contributions and support. We also know this event has created an incredibly supportive dancing alumni group. Would our previous dancers here tonight please stand? And now, please welcome our executive director, Trish Holmes. We often celebrate the accomplishments of our community, and tonight you'll meet member dancer Ganesh Ayer, who represents a success story. You will feel his joy as he takes the stage. Success stories happen in partnership with our dedicated staff, who are the most compassionate individuals I've ever had the honor of knowing. We all have our why for doing this work. For me, it's the relationships that develop when you collaborate side by side with someone who is overcoming challenges. Many in this room, including myself, have loved ones affected by mental illness. It's hard, it's exhausting at times, when you have a parent, a sibling, a child, a relative, a friend who is struggling. You want to help, yet you can feel inadequate Mental illness is complex. This is where Independence Center joins your family in creating a plan. And this plan leads one back to recognizing their worth, their value, and their ability to make a difference in their community. 
I'm always amazed at the courage our members display by opening up about this journey. One young woman who inspired me is Jenna. She could be my daughter or yours, and we'd like to share her story with this video. I have my two parents, and then my oldest sister, another sister, and then a brother, and then me. So I'm the youngest out of four. As we got older, we always have our kitchen table talk. We would sit there till like 3 a.m. sometimes, and it was just like the most fun we used to have. So as high school wrapped up for me, medical was always in the family, and I always loved helping people. And I got my MA license, and I was able to be a medical assistant for seven to eight years. I felt like I could find that specific same job at somewhere else being a medical assistant. And then once I like stepped out of that comfort zone, I realized that it was more difficult than I thought. I felt like I really wanted to go back to the other job and I realized I couldn't, so I felt really just down and depressed. And I felt very anxious all the time. And that's kind of where it started with my mental health kind of going downhill, because I felt like I made a huge mistake. I was also in a very bad relationship with a guy that I thought I would be with for the rest of my life. and. I realized this man was very abusive mentally to me and telling me how to do things all the time and like trying to control what I was doing with my life. I felt like I lost my, my career, I lost my love, and I just felt so alone. It brought me to a point where I was considering taking my own life, which was really scary because I'd never felt that way. I've never felt that dark in my life before. And I was afraid to ask for help because I was always the one who was like, oh, I'm fine, everything's fine, and I always trying to make things happy. And I finally talked to my family. I'm like, guys, I am not okay. Like, I don't want to be here anymore. And I think that was the best decision I could have made for myself because if I didn't say anything, I don't think I would be here. And I finally went to a hospital and got the actual help I needed. And it was, it was scary because I didn't know what to expect because I never thought I would get to that point in my life. I never want to feel like that again and I hope I don't because that's really scary. But I know that I can actually talk to people and not be afraid to like ask for help. I definitely feel like the independent center is a good place to start. Without it right now, I don't, I personally don't know where I would be. I feel like with the independent center, it is different because they go at your own pace instead of just rushing you into stuff, which is very beneficial for someone who's going through those mental challenges, getting yourself back into like that world of working again in which I needed because I was so anxious going back to work. Be able to go back into that work environment again and not be afraid. So this has been a really good benefit for me. And Jason's my TE and he helped me get the job at GoFarm. And what a TE means is temporary employment. So it's about maybe a six to nine month program, depending on the job you're at. And also, even after you're done, they could keep you or not. It just really depends on what they need. At Go5 School of Nursing, I'm the first TE that's working along with Independent Center. And it's been a really cool experience. I hope I'll be able to keep it after the TE is done. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> Definitely feel my future is very bright and realizing that I'm not in that dark place anymore and just look, looking towards that future is very encouraging. I'm, to be honest, I'm very blessed. God put me through this crazy ride and he's helped me through all of it. It's been a scary, awesome experience.
We are pleased tonight that Jenna, along with her colleagues from Goldfarb, have joined us here this evening. Please extend a warm thank you to them. And we are thrilled that you, our patrons, have joined us this evening. You are an integral part of Independence Center as your donations serve a critical need, allowing us to concentrate on achieving our best outcomes and create viable opportunities for a vulnerable population. On behalf of all of our members, we graciously say thank you. Now let's all enjoy the show. Thank you. Well, thank you, Trish and Jenna. Success stories like Jenna's and Ganesh's are why we are here tonight. So let's take a look at how you vote tonight to spread that joy. You all received a How to Vote card at your check-in. To vote, you can scan the QR code and click the Donate Now button and select your dancer. For those in person, there are also forms on the tables. We have volunteers throughout the room that can collect your forms or help if you have a challenge. Just raise your hand high. It is $10 per vote, and you can vote as many times as you like throughout the evening. Simple as can be. Now, it's important to vote for your specific dancer so that your votes are assigned to the right person. Joining us this evening is our esteemed panel of judges. Both former dancers, by the way. Longtime supporter, prone to sometimes dancing in a tutu on his best behavior. Welcome, Bob Tommaso. You have never looked better. <laughs> Please welcome on the judges panel for the first time, Kristen Johnson. Kristen is an avid runner and she is gonna keep us on pace this evening. This year, we have added some new categories for prizes. We will be given awards for best technique based on ability as evaluated by the judges, best style, showmanship on stage, best fan engagement, best fan supporting their dancer with interactive fan base, crowd favorite based on the loudest applause after each performance, Judge's favorite all-around performance, and finally, dance champion, based on the most money raised tonight and in advance. And now, it is time for the dancing. Before we introduce our first dance team, let's look at how we stand on the leaderboard leading up to tonight. Wow, $576,000! That is amazing. So now remember, vote early and vote often. Here to get us started tonight, it is my pleasure to introduce Carmen Franzak from Friendship Village. face here at dancing Robert McKinney from Convergence Body and Dance. 
It's really cool that the Independence Center keeps using Dancing with the St. Louis Stars as a way to reach out to the community because everyone has a different idea of what dance is to them. So it's a way to see a lot of diversity and different ideas and different energy and, and hear different musics that you wouldn't otherwise hear. This event will be a great way to just bring people together to have a fun evening to highlight all the needs around mental health challenges. It's certainly in a different way than many of the other events that are around St. Louis. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to provide some good entertainment for people, but I think it's a great way just to bring people together and have a good time, but also certainly raise money for a very important cause. Starting with somebody new every year is always nerve wracking. So you're trying to figure out how do we create something together that is genuine, that you can put on stage and, and do well together. Not always intuitive, but always really rewarding. Well, I gave him an upfront apology that I have zero dancing skills. My friends or family would say I have three moves. It's high, medium, and low, and they're all the same move. It's just my hands going three different places. So we've practiced twice. Uh, he's helping me, and I think it's gonna be great. I think we're gonna land on something really fun, and uh, yeah, excited. Before I was introduced to the Independence Center, I didn't know anything about it. I think it's probably the biggest resource we could give to anyone with any sort of mental health challenges. Having a purpose for anyone will make the difference in their life. Uh, and there's so many different ways to get involved there on a daily basis. So I think it's amazing and why I'm here. My advice after being here this evening is to go check it out. See the space that everybody's talking about and, and experience it firsthand. Thanks for supporting this event. I'm so glad you're here. But more importantly, learn more about the Independence Center. I hope you choose to get involved. I hope you choose to come back to this event year after year. There's so many ways in which you can help the cause that we're all here for. I would like to say good luck to all the competition, but yes, watch out for the high, medium, and low. Start living dangerously
I'll let you catch your breath. <laughs> wow. Woo, Carmen and Robert. That was a spectacular start to our dancing tonight. Carmen, I have to ask you, what was your motivation to choose this dance style and that song? Hmm. <laughs> well, you see, I have three songs. I could never decide on one. And we just wanted it to be fun. And I gave it to Robert and went from there. Normally, normally when people play three songs, they go like low, medium, and fast. And she was like, how about fast, faster, and fastest? And I was like, all right, that's Carmen. <laughs> awesome. Judge Kristen, you've danced before. What did you think of the performance? So much fun, great job, so much energy. Uh, loved the lift, that was a high. So I don't know what you're talking about, medium and low, because it was such a high, so great job. So Judge Bob, what did you think about the technique? It was spectacular, a great dance. Carmen, that outfit, does that come in a men's 46 short by any chance? And I don't know who's in charge of the temperature, but I'm sweating like a lawyer going to confession. What's going on in here? So dancers, why should people vote for you? We're the best, we were the first. What else, Robert? Because it's the best cause and it's the most fun event in St. Louis. And I have to say hello to all my Friendship Village residents that are watching at home. So if you would like to vote for Carmen and Robert, select them and place your vote. Next up, a familiar face at Independence Center, Matt Slater of the St. Louis Cardinals. And first-time dance coach, coach Liz Schwarfkopf from Convergence Body and Dance. I've been a board member at Independence Center for the last nine years. Once I got involved, I really understood what they do for individuals with mental illness. And, you know, it really is heartwarming to see the individuals and how their lives are bettered by, by what they do. I think it's really great that Independence Center puts on this event using dance. Most people, I think, we have trouble finding a space or community, and I think Independence Center is really great for that, and I think dance is something I found brings me community and helps me connect with people, so I think it's a great way to bring the two together. The last year of my tenure as being on the board of directors, and I figured that was the best way to go out, is to contribute in this manner. And it, it's for a great cause, we're gonna raise a lot of money, and uh, really looking forward to it. The song I, I had picked out months ago, the actual performance and the dance, Liz, I'm gonna rely on her expertise. I, I feel blessed. I, I've been a sports executive for, for my whole life, the last 30 years, and I, I certainly understand uh, talent and how to procure talent, and I'm just lucky that my dance partner is very talented. Matt came up with the idea, and it wasn't something I expected, so. <laughs> We're doing something new. I get to learn something new, which is awesome. And then we're gonna pull in some other partner dance stuff that I'm a little more familiar with, but it'll be a fun time. Yeah. yeah. And I believe all human beings deal with mental illness in some capacity, and all of us have been affected, either ourselves or loved ones, by serious mental illness. And what Independence Center does is, is give these individuals a place that they can be proud of. It's amazing when you go there, you see how every member and staff are treated with equality throughout. It's, it's really a, a cherished organization within our community. I'm really grateful that Convergence has this opportunity to work with the Independence Center and this event, and I encourage everyone to support them and what they do. I want us to all have a lot of fun. That's what it's about, to raise money for a great organization and have fun doing it. We promise we're gonna have an epic performance. It's gonna be an explosion of fun.
and his hunger for power became known to more and more people, the demands to do something about this outrageous man became louder and louder. That was so much fun. Well, let's go to the judges. While we'll let these two catch their breath. Kristen, let's start with you. What did you think of the performance? Well, no pun intended, but what a home run, right? <laughs> it's yes. great. It's awesome. And I think the card. I think the Cardinal should have the light up pants, new uniform, right? <laughs> awesome. Great job. Judge Bob. Matt, love the pants. Gonna have to drug test you, however. <laughs> Clearly using foreign substances somewhere. Um, and it was, it was just spectacular. Um, I love the fact that you guys match. Kristen and I were matching outfits earlier and she made me switch. So <laughs> thank you guys, it was spectacular. Well, Matt, we're gonna let you close this out. Why should people vote for you and Liz? Thank you, Lisa. Um, in real reality, you can vote for any of the six dancers. I hope you do vote for me, because um, it's... <laughs> it, it's not about me, it's not about Liz. Um, it's about all of you out there who are donating a tons of money for this cause, Independence Center. It really is a jewel of our community, what they do to help individuals with mental illness. So I want to thank all of you in the crowd, my wife and kids have been tremendous through this whole process. <laughs> but also, I want to recognize all those people worldwide that are watching on TV right now, live stream. <laughs> no, I have friends in the Dominican Republic, Venezuela, Colombia, Taiwan, Japan, Korea, London, England. Ann Arbor, Michigan, West Lafayette, Indiana, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Clearwater, Florida, and Denver, Colorado. Thank you to all of you, everyone watching on TV. Vote and donate for any dancer because it's a tremendous cause. Thank you. If you would like to vote for Matt and Liz, select them to place your vote. Now, why don't we take a look at the leaderboard and see how our dancers are doing. Oh my goodness, $586,000, woo! It is my pleasure now to introduce team number three this evening. Kelly Wittenbrink from Thompson Street Capital Gardens. <laughs> Kelly is going to be dancing with Eric Sexton from Yes Honey Dance Troupe. I was introduced to the Independent Center last year. I attended dancing for the first time. And there at that night, I was asked by a group of friends from Belle Reve to represent us, because they've all danced in the past. And it's a group that I unfortunately cannot say no to. So I said yes, that I would do it for 2024. This was my first exposure to the Independence Center. 
but the mission that was brought to me was that this was going to be raising plenty of money for mental health awareness, and I was super excited. I had heard of Independence Center previously, but I had never been to the clubhouse before. I've had a chance to go down there since and meet the staff, and the one thing that I took away when I left that day is everyone smiled, and everyone said hi to each other and was engaging, and I had never really experienced that before. First session, we just talked a bit wanted to get to know her first before hopping in and just finding out that she was an athlete and you know a mother of three it was important for me to find out what was pushing her in this opportunity it was obvious that she could dance though which was great i think it's exciting to have a challenge in an environment that i've never done before and learn hip-hop because i'm a child of the 80s and 90s and that was very much a genre style of dance any style of dance was going to be a challenge for me, but it's a goal I'm setting for myself. And Eric has even told me to do some homework, get to learn some moves, and set a goal of something that I want to do in our performance. We're in the process of getting on the same page rhythmically. That's different from getting on the same page personally, right? Because it's, it's an awesome time already. But just setting a goal for ourselves and then just getting out of our boxes and being as big as possible to put on a great show. The other dancers represent the Cardinals, STL City, Friendship Village, which has numerous facilities across St. Louis, and of course, great corporation like Emerson, and then also the Independence Center. So please vote for us as the underdogs. Your number was so fresh and so fun.
I am not sure that that underdog comment really holds true. Let's go to Bob Tommaso, representing the Belle Reeve contingent, responsible for getting Kelly to be on stage tonight. How do you think she did, Bob? Kelly, it was unbelievable. Fantastic, amazing energy. You represent the little country club that could so well. We really appreciate that. <laughs> Ke Kelly, Kelly and I go way back and we were backstage and I you know, put on this amazing outfit. And I said, Kelly, what do you think? Do I look like Taylor Swift? And she goes, you look like the Tasmanian she-devil. <laughs> so you're awesome, I love you. Thank you so much for doing this. Eric, this is your first time at dancing. How was your experience? <laughs> this has been a great journey for me personally, getting to meet Kelly and just push her to give you all a show has been amazing for me. Um, it's pushed me, it's got me out of my box, so I really appreciate the opportunity and all the, um, the mission that the Independent Center presents. Kelly, how about you? How did it feel to be on stage tonight? I'm not going to lie, I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. I am blown away and humbled by the amount of support that I've received, and I've been thinking a lot about if everybody in their life could receive the support that I've been given, this world would be a much better place. So just do a good job of supporting the ones that you love. Anything else? Anything else either of you want to add? We know we're the winners and the champ, we're, well, the winner is Independent Center, but we're the champions. If you would like to vote for Kelly and Eric and help them move them up the leaderboard, which they are, well, they're already at the top of the leaderboard, uh, select them, place your vote, or follow the QR code on your How To Vote card. Now remember, you can vote as often as you like for any team during any point in the evening. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Independent Center board member, Sarah Yang Bosco. And returning pro who's been here many times, Angie Brooks from Majestic. As a board member of Independent Center, I've come to learn a lot about its mission, its values, and really have come to appreciate the critical need that it plays in the community. And when you're talking about doing something out of your comfort zone, there's nothing better than dancing in front of hundreds of people. So. I guess that kind of led me to this path. I think what's truly tremendous about this event is the enormity of the community support that it draws. Each and every year that I have been a part of it, these people from the community come out of the woodwork and they raise a heck of a lot of money for a really good cause. To feel a part of that community engagement for such a great and wonderful cause is it's, it's special. When I thought about doing this, I knew innately I wanted to do it, but then I thought, okay, what would get me through? So I decided what would get me through was to dance with Angie, who I had had a couple of lessons with before, and I knew her experience with Independent Center. So I said, if I'm going to do it, it has to be with Angie, because whatever happens, Angie will not fail me. She will make sure that I, that I am okay, okay. So that was the first thing. When it comes to dancing for me at this point in my career, finding outlets to use dance for the greater good is really important to me. This has always been an outlet to really make a difference in our community, being able to participate in this event for the Independence Center. And I'm thankful for everyone in this audience for being here tonight and for supporting us, and to all of the dancers for making this night happen.
I'm grateful for being able to do this, not just because we're involved with Independence Center, I have my good health, hopefully I won't break a leg when I'm out there, but I think there's plenty of doctors, so that won't be a problem. We'll put on a great show, and really the purpose of it is to, to get people tapping their feet and clapping their hands and opening their pocketbook. was an energetic number. <laughs> that was so awesome. What did you think, Judge Bob? I, it blew me away. Sarah, you are spectacular. Angie, you should be on the Emerson payroll as a permanent employee <laughs> with all the Emerson people you've danced. It, 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 was, it was just great. Kristen wanted to get up and dance, and I said, let's not show off right now. So, but thank you guys, it was spectacular. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was amazing, and I totally want one of those jumpsuits. Yeah, that looks, you look great. You had so much fun. Great job. Congratulations. Thank you. Sarah, what went through your mind when you were first asked to dance? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no way. <laughs> But then, um, knowing about the cause and the mission of Independence Center, it's really become very close to my heart. Knowing I've got Angie as a great partner, and so many of you who support the mission, it's pretty easy to say yes. yes. Agreed. Angie, why should the people vote for you and Sarah? Did you just see her? <laughs> I do believe that the wattage in this room just blew up. I mean, she's a shining star. We love you, Mom. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <laughs> if you would like to vote for Sarah and Angie, just select them and place your vote. 
Remember that your votes translate into services. For those in our community that are seeking independence and a quality of life that we may take for granted. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Matt Seebeck. Yes, Matt is with the St. Louis City Soccer, and he's going to have some help from colleagues. Accompanied by Hannah Pierce, independent dancer and a veteran here at Dancing with the St. Louis Stars. I think it's great that the Independence Center recognizes that dance is such a joyful, happy thing. I also think it's, it's a really healthy escape. It can take your mind from all your problems and just focusing on a step or focusing on a storyline or whatever it is. And it feels great to accomplish something, whether it's a move or a routine or a step or whatever it is. The soccer team has, I think, captivated the region. I'm humbled and, and honored to represent the team, but be a part of something um, that's such a great cause. I would encourage people to you know, get involved, ask how to help. It's an amazing place. Every year it gets better and more rewarding. You keep seeing how necessary a place like this is. And also to be able to give this resource out to people and to talk to people about it is a huge gift. And I'm just so humbled to be asked back every year. The normalization of mental health has gotten a lot better. We talk about it more frequently, but Independence Center, I think, has a bias for action, that it's more than, than words. It gives people a sense of purpose and vocation and jobs and schedule and giving people that sense of, of normalcy that they can find purpose with themselves and with each other. More people can, you know, at their own speed, kind of make their way through the system and process here, but then make their way back out in the community and find that sense of vocation and purpose outside the four walls of Independence Center. Just so inspiring to see. Thank you to the Independence Center for continuing to have this event. I'm thankful for everyone who is attending tonight and for all the money everyone's raising because it is going to something very, very valuable and very important. And so I just am thankful for everyone who's here tonight. Seeing what goes on in Independence Center here is uh, nothing short of amazing and you know, being involved in this process to raise even more money and funds for the Independence Center, obviously going to be put to, to amazing use. So I um, really appreciate everyone's contribution um, in this amazing cause to uh, see you know, not only where Independence Center is um, now, but where it will be you know, this time next year. It's amazing.
Oh my God, Matt, that was, I want to hear more about the team approach, but as someone who's being accused of being Yoko Ono by the Chiefs fans, I got to tell you, you guys were spectacular. Tell us uh, the team approach. How did you come up with that? Well, I, you know, I think Latin inspired. We have such an amazing supporter group. Let's hear it for them. Oh my God. Holy cow. So to try to bring a little bit of the Latin vibe, you know, soccer, we're international. And so to bring that into the salsa, um, we thought was a really fun. That's all Hannah. Yeah, good yeah. job. Well, Lennon, oh my goodness, you are adorable. I mean, really, you made your dad look really good, you know. So, But do you mind if I ask you, how was this experience for you? It was awesome. <laughs> Awesome. Hannah, what made this evening unique for you? I don't, I mean, what kind of energy, like when do you get this much excitement ever? <laughs> I was awesome. I felt really special, but it's one of my favorite things to do every year. So it's special every year. It doesn't matter. Thanks, guys. Good job. <laughs> Well, if you would like to vote for Matt and Hannah and Lennon, select them and place your vote. I bet you can't wait to see how these votes are coming in. Let's take a look. Woo! That is amazing. Do you think that we can get to that 700,000 goal? I think we can. I think we can. So we're now to our final team for the evening. Voting will close right after this performance. And we may be a bit biased because we're featuring Ganesh, who you heard about earlier this evening. Please welcome a member of our Independent Center family, Ganesh Ayer and Carmen Gwynn of Almas Del Rito Dance, appearing for the second time. I'm excited to be back for my second time uh, with the Dancing in the Stars event. I'm looking forward to so much fun. The first two rehearsals already have been amazing. <laughs> A lot of hard work should also go into it. We just want to make sure that we give our best and make sure that it's a good dance. We got something up our sleeve for the for the uh, audience and for everyone. I uh, think 70s, but it's it's real. It's gonna be a treat, I think. What better way to do it than to support uh, the Independent Center and to be able to dance and celebrate at the same time? I live at the Independent Center all day. I, I come in the morning. 
I start my day at the Independence Center and I work at the clubhouse and I cannot imagine a life without the Independence Center for me. Independence Center is life for me. My first time being able to see the clubhouse and do a tour and, and really get a clear understanding as, as to what goes on in the Independence Center and how everything is orchestrated to help people and really meet the needs of the members that are there and it's been wonderful to see that. For me, the most healing part at the Independence Center was working at the kitchen. Because when I worked in the kitchen, I had to work with uh, everybody, club it together and also gain a lot of peace. And that really helped me build my team spirit and also learn a lot of things. The acceptance of everyone that walks into the building. And that's how the world should be. Just warm and accepting of everybody. And to have a place like the Independence Center to be able to do that for so many people, I think is absolutely important. And I really want everybody to uh, understand how consequential your donations are. It's going to be a lot of help to the Independence Center. Thank you for being here tonight and then giving opportunity to, to people. Uh, that's the biggest and the most important thing.
One more time, let's show this amazing duo our ad admiration for them. Woo! Good job, you guys. Judge Kristen, what do you have to say oh, about this you, amazing performance? My goodness, you blew us away. Awesome job, and I love the hip move at the end. That was great, really nice. Congratulations. Ganesh, Carmen, you guys stole the show. Yeah. The only thing I need to know though, Ganesh, is it true that you borrowed both the suit and the cool shoes from board member and former U.S. attorney, Jeff Jensen? Is that where you got those? Is that where you got the outfit from Jeff Jensen? I think you did. Awesome, man, thank you. Yeah, those platform shoes are pretty cool, Ganesh. I like those. So Ganesh and Carmen, why should people vote for you? Independent Center is a beautiful place. It's a blessing on earth. Uh, it's only simple that once I get a vote, I'm, it goes to the Independent Center. So it's assisting the Independent Center, and it's it's a blessing in, uh, on the face of earth. So that, that's the best thing one could do. I, I, the reason why Andy, what we should vote is just he's a living example of what the Independent Center does. Um, this has been a blessing for me. This is my second year being a coach, and I told Ganesh back, back to, I call him Ganesh, because he's chocolate, you know what I'm saying? He's just sweet. <laughs> he's so sweet, but I shared with him that I was so proud that they teamed us together, because he is an amazing example and a true, uh, advocate for the Independent Center and just living the dream of what can be done. So if you're going to vote for anyone, vote for everybody, but if you're going to vote for someone, here's a live example of what the Independent Center does. And <laughs> I honestly, both of us just got a really honest bond. I really thank God for all that he's done with, with his grace and, and just given us talent to do what we do. So thank you so much, everybody. for the last team, Ganesh and Carmen. Please select them and place your votes now. Voting is going to close momentarily. Why don't we take a look at the leaderboard and see how our dancers are doing. Woo! This is your last chance. This is your last chance to vote, and voting is going to end in four minutes. So make sure you cast your vote. Let's extend our appreciation to our judges. <laughs> judges, you can now go and calculate our results. <laughs> While Reuben Brown Accounting Firm is tabulating the votes, we have a very special performance by two of our dance pros, Robert McKinney and Liz Schwarzkopf of Convergence Body and Dance. Please welcome them back to the stage.
Well, thank you, Liz and Robert. We appreciate you sharing your talent and your dedication with us. And that really goes to all of our dance pros. We could not do this without you. So thank you, thank you. Dancers, please join us on stage now and line up in your performance order. So once again, here are our categories for the evening. Best technique, based on ability as evaluated by the judges. Most stage personality, showmanship on stage. Best fan engagement, best fan supporting their dancer. Crowd favorite, based on the applause. Judges favorite, all around performance. Dance champion based on most money raised tonight and in advance. The best technique award is determined by the dance team who demonstrated the best technique according to our judges. And the winner is Sarah Yang Bosco. the most stage presence in style, according to our judges. And the winner is Matt Seebeck. <laughs> Congratulations, Matt, Hannah, and Lennon. <laughs> Best Fan Engagement Award goes to the dance team whose fans showed the most enthusiasm and dedication to their team. This one's gonna be hard. The winner is... Matt Slater! is determined by you. They are the team who had the greatest audience applause. And the winner is Carmen Franzak. <laughs> the judges favorite determined by the dance team who won over the hearts of these judges and let's face it these judges can be really tough the winning team is Ganesh and Carmen The big winner for the evening, the D.
Dance Champion Award is given to the team that raises the most dollars overall in advance and tonight. The Dance Champion of the 15th Annual Dancing with the St. Louis Stars raising nearly $200,000, Kelly and Eric. <laughs> $60,000 away from our goal. So we did a little quick back of the napkin math in the back. And if every person in here would just cast 10 votes at $10, we could, we could make that number. So that's my final appeal. It'd be awesome to reach our goal tonight, but we just wanna thank you so much for your generosity throughout the e evening. I would also like to just thank everyone that works on this event all year long. It takes a lot of work to pull this off. So lastly, we want to thank our dancing committee, the Independent Center staff and volunteers, and once again to our sponsors. Your contributions are priceless. I'm excited to announce that collectively we have raised over, drum roll please, Our donation page will remain open for any stragglers. So thank you to those of you online and good evening.